Maryland, Major General John T. Myers turned over the reins of the Army's 7th Signal Command to Brigadier General Eugene C. Renzi. The ceremonies began with the formation of troops. Several Army platoons participated, along with the 1st Army Band from Fort George G. Meade, Maryland. A Joint Service Color Guard from nearby Air Force, Marine, and Navy commands presented the colors. Generals Myers and Renzi were then joined by Lieutenant Colonel Kenneth Mink for an inspection of the troops. As the last strands of the national anthem fell silent, the change of command ceremony began. A crowd of approximately 300 people were on hand, including family members and many prominent Army dignitaries, such as Lieutenant General C.E. McKnight, who later joined Brigadier General Renzi on the reviewing stand. Lieutenant General Emmett Page, Jr., commander of the U.S. Army Information Systems Command at Fort Huachuca, Arizona, received the 7th Signal Command colors and leadership from Major General Myers and presented them to Brigadier General Renzi. After some brief congratulations, Major General Myers received the most prestigious decoration of the day. A third star promoting him to the rank of Lieutenant General was pinned on by his wife Colette and Lieutenant General Page. Sharing in the family spirit of support, General Myers' son, an Air Force officer, unrolled his father's personal three-star flag. In the near distance, cannons sounded a 15-gun salute to the newest Lieutenant General of the Signal Corps. Lieutenant General Myers remarked, Today uh, is, a, is an unusual day for the Myers family, and it's a very strange day for my professional family. I would uh, first, if you'll indulge me, like to say that uh, for the first time in, uh, in 30 years, my father is able to, uh, to attend and uh, we're delighted to have him join us. In fact, the, all of the surviving Myerses are here today. There ain't no more. Uh, my Aunt Lucille, his, uh, his sister, also joins us. They're both from North Canton, Ohio. And then uh, that cunning fellow, I can say that now, he's, he's not my boss anymore, but he won't ever let go of the string. But General Page, in cahoots with his front office and mine, managed to... Uh, to bring my two sons in, uh, my son John from California, and then uh, my son Greg from Dias Air Force Base uh, in Texas. So, and then there's those other ones, there's Michael, and Michael doesn't like the gun salutes, but he did pretty good. And then my two beautiful daughters, Ellen and Jennifer. So all the Myers are together today for this very special day. And, I, and you probably all are tired of hearing me talk about family, military family and personal family, but I'll make you do it one more time. The, uh, the soldiers, sailors, airmen, marine that, uh, that join us on the parade ground today represent that professional family that has allowed me to, uh, to get to where I've gotten today. Command is the greatest privilege that an officer can be given and the good Lord in the United States Army has allowed me to have that privilege. But you men and women and those thousands and thousands that you represent have made that privilege and that task an easy one. To the civilian workforce, who was kind of laid back up here in Foggy Mountain, Walton's Mountain, some people call it, uh, you're not laid back anymore. You're a center of excellence. When somebody wants to know something about the business in ISC, they look to you, they look to 7 Signal Command. It's one heck of a team that knows its business better than anybody else in the Defense Department. And I'm rather proud, although saddened, to, uh, to pass that team on to the new coach. The retired community represented, I would say, in large measure by General Redman as the senior retired officer here, uh, has been super. They've supported the community, they've continued to provide their professional assistance and above all else, the family support to Fort Ritchie. To all of the people who, who have helped the Myers family during their four-year tenure here, we all say thank you for that. And it's, it's no way that we can uh, repay you directly for the many good things you've done for us, but you'll be in our prayers. And so to all of the workforce, I say thank you very much. The relationship with the services at Site R and Camp David couldn't be better. And, uh, and I know it will stay that way. So to everyone, the Myers' say thank you for your support, 
and keep this as a center of excellence. The last comment, and I'll kind of use the words of the guy, if I could pick a guy to be my replacement, I wouldn't, no, I would have picked my uh, fellow Goomba here, Gene Renzi, because he would say he's one hell of a guy. So you better take care of him just as well as you have take care of, taken care of me because you couldn't do any better. In his remarks, Lieutenant General Page said, Joe Myers has done an outstanding job throughout this reorganization. We will miss him, but yet, on the other hand, we'll look forward to that great support that we will get from the Defense Communications Agency. We know his email address. He'll get plenty of mail from us, and uh, uh, we know that he'll respond. So on behalf of the entire Army Information Systems Command, I say thank you for the support, for the, all the outstanding work that you've given to us. Congratulations uh, on your promotion. And uh, we all can't be there for the change of command with the Defense Communications Agency. But again, we know you'll do well there. Thank you very much, and God bless you. And finally, the new 7th Signal Commander, Brigadier General Renzi, added. This has been my desire for a long time. I love Fort Ritchie, the community, and most of all, the people that make up 7th Signal Command. I will be looking forward to serving with you in the near future. Thank you very much. The ceremonies concluded with a pass and review of troops in front of the viewing stand. <laughs> General Myers' next assignment is director of the Defense Communications Agency in Arlington, Virginia, after nearly four years as commander of the 7th Signal Command. Reporting from Fort Ritchie, Maryland, I'm Pat Blackwell.